Hey guys, so we have the Takahashi 6 inch, the TOA 150 on the EQ6. I have to put three counterweights, one at the bottom, middle, and top. EQ6 is fine. This guy's about 36 to 37 pounds, so it's very close to the limit of this guy. And uh, it's clear tonight, so we're gonna take a, well, unfortunately Saturn is really getting low. Uh, it was kind of nice and high before, but I was doing something, so I'm not sure how it's gonna look. Jupiter's in a good position, so let's uh, take a quick look. Okay guys, so here is Saturn. Uh, the problem is now Saturn is probably only about 30 degrees from the horizon which is kind of very low. I think this is a 4.7. So this guy is a 1100 millimeter divided by 4.7 equals 234 power. Okay, that's comfortable. High, but not super high. Let me see if I can get a good view. I think I could push it a lot higher. Let's see what happens. Unfortunately, today I had like a mini star party. I had a couple people come over, we were looking at stuff. So now Saturn got kind of low. The only problem with this guy, guys, that I have, besides the weight, which is huge, because it's a six inch, which is large, it's very, very heavy and it's very thick. The cool down time for this guy needs so long. I've already had it, I think about two hours and 20 minutes. And it's still, I feel like it probably needs a little bit longer. I used to have a Mead seven inch at 15, Maxutov, which after two hours was a great view. But at three hours, it, it's where it really excelled. Problem with Saturn was good, but now it's too low in the sky. However, Jupiter, ooh, looks pretty good. Like Jupiter's huge. Hey guys, so the reason why I uh, canceled or I just packed up yesterday's video. So as you guys heard in the video, this guy is extremely heavy, extremely thick. It's a triplet, which takes much, much longer than a doublet and it's a really wide separation of the lenses. So it takes a very long time. Like I said, uh, the only other scope that I had that problem with was the seven inch F15 Max Sutov. Even though it had an inlet air and a fan, at two hours, the images were great, but it was at three hours where it was ne like near perfect. I have a feeling the same thing's going on with this one. Yesterday it was two hours and 20 minutes minimum when I was starting that video. By then, Saturn is getting very low. And I don't have a viewing uh, angle uh, on the uh, west there. I, it starts getting into trees. Um, so it's just, I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to test. I'm gonna start building an insulation for this guy. On the forums, and actually my first video that I did on the members video was about that. And so far I've not seen anybody who has actually proven it works uh, because to do a real test, you maybe need like three scopes, you know? Normally they talk, they talk about large refractors, Max Sutovs and SCTs to be insulated, but to do a real test without a shadow of a doubt is you need one regular OTA with nothing, one with like the, they talk about normally the Reflectix uh, insulation, and then you can do one with any other type of insulation and see, you know, if it works. And it has to be the same size, same telescope, uh, you know, otherwise it won't work if you're doing different sizes, different weights, you know. But anyway, I'm gonna try uh, with that blue stuff that I made for my six inch heritage, that stuff over there. And I'm gonna start insulating this guy. And they say, if you insulate it, you can just go directly out. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna show you guys the video. You can tag along with me and see. And then we're gonna see if you can just take it out and observe. Anyway, so that's it. That's why I cut that video short. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and subscribe. 
I'll see you on the next video. If you know anybody getting into the hobby, share my link if you don't mind. If you know what, if you're on the forums and maybe somebody's asked about a video that I did, if you could be so nice and share the link. And if you guys would like to join the members video, I put one video, only members can watch it. And it's only 99 cents a month. Why not you? Why not me?